Okay, are you ready for the most controversial question? Oh boy. <laughs> on one or on two? On whatever beat my partner wants to dance on. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that I'm experienced enough, that's my answer. And I think anyone who's an experienced dancer should answer like that. Because it's not just about you, right? It's about your partner. And if you are the more experienced dancer, then, and you know how to dance on one, and you know how to dance on two, then you should technically understand the beats in between and be able to dance on any of them. Mm -hmm. And if your partner is unable to dance, maintain either on one or on two, and they're all over the place, then you know all those beats too. So you should be able to dance on those. So for me, it's whatever my partner wants to dance on. Agreed. Yeah, Agreed. Yeah, and so maybe just to help people navigate this just in a little bit more detail, how, how do you address that conversation? Do you literally ask? Um, or obviously if you're following, do you, you, I assume you would just go along? You know, usually when you start a dance, you break mm. on a certain beat. And so I'll let that be the mark of what this dance is, is predicted to be danced on. If they switch somewhere in between, then I will, um, depending on their confusion, their expression, if they switch and they're like, mm, I don't think, then I'll put them back. I, I understand that that confusion is because they're not where they want to be. So if I know where we're supposed to be, then I'll try and assist that. If, however, there's no confusion and they're just going along with it, like that is what it's supposed to be, then I'll understand that their uh, understanding of the beat and that timing is not so rigid mm -hmm. and it's not so structured. And so then I'll be a little bit more flexible in my interpretation and my timing. And I love how you said, like, if you're an experienced dancer, that's what your answer should be. Why, why do you think people who are less experienced potentially have stronger views on, on you know, what rhythm they prefer to dance and, and tend to insist on it? Well, because we're learning, right? When, when we're less experienced, we're learning. We, we, we can't sit there and try and master dancing on every beat. That's too much information. We're, we're again, going back to like trying to be master of all, all, a jack of all trades, right? Like, so we, we find something that we connect with and we start learning in that way. Even for myself, right? When I first started dancing, I'm pretty certain I didn't dance on any proper beat. Then I started dancing on one, and then that was my entire focus. When on two was introduced to our scene in Toronto, I was like, um, what the hell is going on? Like, how, why are we dancing on it? Why are people breaking on this other thing? That's not how I learned it. And so I was very rigid in, in the on one style um, until I felt comfortable enough with on one that I was like, oh, it's one, two. Oh, I do step on that beat. You know, now I just got to change the, the position of my step to be able to, to dance on two. Then I started focusing on that, and then – through that understanding, I was able to feel more comfortable with the steps in general and the beat in general and the dance and the leading and the following in general. But when we start um, as beginners, there's too much information. So it's easy for us to whatever information we've been provided to, to really stick with that, you know, to, to say this is the way it's going to be done. And it's only through more knowledge and more experience that you understand that there are many ways it can be done. Yeah. Thank you.